how to do chroma key in Camtasia Studio. That and more in this episode. We've already done a video or two about doing chroma key on this channel. However, we haven't done one on Camtasia. Now, Camtasia is a software that most people use for doing tutorial-based content and things like that. It's not a fully featured editor as, say, Adobe Premiere or maybe uh, Sony Vegas. It's very simple, very easy to use, uh, but some things are kind of hidden and we'll go over the chroma key feature in this video. The first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to go ahead and import anything that you are going to be using. So for instance, uh, let's go ahead and go to import media and let me go into where I keep my chroma key footage that would be in my XSplit folder because that's what I record with. Alright, so now that we have imported our footage, uh, it will populate with a thumbnail here in just a moment. But we don't have to wait on that. We can go ahead and drag it into our timeline. And I'll be choosing 1080p in Camtasia. Uh, if you'd like a tutorial on how to set Camtasia to render out in 1080p, let me know and we will do that. Not a problem at all. So, chroma key is the process of taking out this green background and replacing it with something else. So, for instance, let's stop it on a frame where I'm not making a silly face. That's about as close as we're going to get. Now, I am going to go to More and go to Visual Properties. We can go down here, we can go to Remove a Color. Now, by default, it will be trying to remove the most used green. Now, this is almost pure green. Um, and then we can kind of play with that and see how far we need to go with that in order to fully key that out. You will notice that it has left a little bit of a green glow around me. Now, you can try to fiddle with your settings to get that green glow down as much as possible. You can also play with your softness settings so that you can get that to match whatever your background is. You can also change the hue of the video just ever so slightly. Of course, you don't want to be purple, so we can set it right about there. Your defringe is an interesting, um, interesting thing where uh, on either side you end up in almost black and white, uh, whereas in the middle you end up in color. There is a little bit more of a technical explanation for that, but that, that'll do for now. You can also invert this effect, and you can actually see what it's keying out. So for instance, here I can actually see that it's keying out part of my shirt. That's not really what I want it to do, but on the pure black background, you can't really tell. Especially since it's a gray shirt. But if you're one of those people who just wants to get it perfect, you could actually dial back the softness just a bit, and there we go. Now you know exactly what you are keying out, so you don't have anything popping up behind you uh, showing on your shirt. As far as putting something behind you, now if I were doing a video for Freedom Central, I could leave it at that. Just me sitting in front of the camera, and maybe add a text call out behind me or up above my head or something like that. However, here on school, uh, you can expect to see a background behind me. Now, how do I get this behind me? Well, that's actually really easy. I'm going to click down here. I am going to insert a track below. And then I am going to drag and drop that behind me. And then I can just drag this to the length of the video, and no matter what, now I have that behind me. Of course, you know, you do want to worry about positioning. You want to make sure that you position yourself, you know, properly, because if I position myself exactly in the middle, I'm not covering something up. But here we go. And so here's what we've gone from. We've gone from this, let's go ahead and that back. We've gone from this 
to this in really it didn't take us that long at all when you're doing chroma key a good camera is really really important as you may have noticed the quality on this channel has gone up significantly mainly due to a new camera uh, all right and newer doesn't always necessarily mean better do your research shop around many times you may notice that due to the camera focusing or due to changing light conditions you may end up with a spot that doesn't key out just right. There are a lot of ways you can handle this in Camtasia, the easiest of which, if it happens to be in one of the corners of the video, would be to simply crop it out. So for instance, with my old webcam, I had a problem where over here in the corner, right here, I had a spot that occasionally would go dark due to the camera focusing. So what I can do is I can just crop that out. Since that's not being used anyway, it's not like anyone is going to miss that part of the footage. And it keeps me from having any further issues. Same thing if your problem is above or to the side of you. If you're already keying it out and no one's going to notice, that's the simplest fix. A little bit more difficult fix would be to uh, split the part that's giving you the issue and then fine-tuning it uh, using your, your values here to get the best effects. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn myself purple here. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let me know in the comments section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with School. Like, subscribe, comments please. Did you know that there was a secret plot to overthrow the teddy bear? That and more in today's episode. Collaboration videos on YouTube can help you grow. That and more in today's episode.